Pokemon, the one place where you thought your kid could go and have a great time. But not if you have to use your pronouns and use it the wrong way or nervously laugh about them because you're embarrassed by it. Now, this player was 5-0, was going up against another 5-0 player that is uh, a, seen as a pro in the scene, and they were a feature match. They were going up on stage. Now, the kid going up on stage, uh, he was asked by a judge what his pronouns were, and because it wasn't something he expected, he gave a very tried to give as straightforward as an answer for something that he didn't expect he he went um he um his that that was the the joke of everything and he ha gave a couple laughs over it um because he was very nervous he's 17 years old he's going up on stage not only that he went to a baltimore tournament and made the streamer event where they called him they them for the broadcast because they never asked him his pronouns. Now, in my previous video, I did not ask one thing here, and it was, why aren't people asking if you have preferred pronouns first? This is a major mistake. I don't agree, like, I don't care if you have pronouns. I, 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 there, there's certain things in the world that just don't align with working with people going and doing an actual job and the last thing on my mind is worrying about what to call you other than your actual name that that that's where it, it comes down to in my field of work it is a safety oriented business where i have to actually know people's names and call them by their name in case there's an emergency or in case there's a situation that arises that I need to actually talk to them about it. Sitting there going, hey, sir or ma'am, it doesn't work in my line of work. We know everyone's names and that is the way things are. Now, in certain things, whatever, you know what, if you've got to have that, that side of the social media, of the socializing, of just living where you go there. But I'm bringing this up because now this Pokemon story has hit mainstream news. I don't generally follow Fox News. Fox News picked it up at the same time as a Dextro um, and a few other outlets. And I, I'm hearing more outlets will be covering this topic. So this isn't the only place. They just happen to be the first ones out there. And that makes it uh, a... a interesting more interesting story and i was asked to do some follow-ups by my comment sections what you guys have done an amazing job in the comment sections i have to say everyone that is commenting uh i take what you what you say to heart and I, you know what if, if there's something that needs to be cleared up i am answering where i can and i'm letting most of you talk there are the few that I've had to remove because they were straight up insults, attacking behavior, attacking my my personality or whoever I am, and they have been shown the door. Generally, it's a comment section. You know, I, I let a lot slide in my comment section, and at the same time, you need to realize this is my house, and if you're going to act like a complete jerk, you're going to go out the door and that's where it's going to be. Keep the discourse coming. Comments do matter. TJ and teenager, Makini Tran. I hope I said it right this time because uh, apparently I called it a mankini, which was not my intention. That is just the way I, that's the way I speak. I, it just rolls off the tongue. I do not mean to insult anyone by that, even though that is the way it is. If you guys have been around the channel for a while, don't forget to like and subscribe because the, those slip-ups are plentiful. And peop, the, the, sometimes people make a drinking game out of it. That's besides the point. 
Uh, de he detailed his disqualification from the Pokemon trading card game uh, tournament in Charlotte after appearing to laugh after being asked his pronouns by a judge. According to Tran's account on social media, he appeared to have made the judge of his sixth round uncomfortable after giving an awkward laugh upon being asked his pronouns. He's an awkward 17-year-old kid. How awkward were you at 17 years old? I know I was super awkward. You know, but at 17 year old, let's see, what, what was I doing? I was living off the streets trying to survive on my own. Yeah, I, I didn't have a very good teenage year. Uh, on our way over to the stream uh, area, the judge asked him for his preferred pronouns. It, actually, that's not what it was. It was the judge asked him what was his pronouns, not preferred pronouns. If they said, what are your, no, do you have preferred pronouns? Yes or no? Then, then the second question should continue at that point. If you buy into that thing, he could have just said no. Uh, I said, um, he or him and or uh, and I paused trying to think of a third pronoun, the third pronoun being his. As I stood there looking stupidly, trying to think of a third pronoun, I felt embarrassed because I was failing to think of a simple word. Due to the nerves and me being embarrassed, I let a little laugh, just a normal nervous laugh. My response together ended up being, um, he or him or ah, uh, uh, ha ha, his, Tran recounted. Now, at the same time, this was after the Baltimore uh, situation where they uh, said they, them, on the broadcast and a few of his friends actually made him feel more embarrassed about it because it was something that happened but it was something cool it was more of the experience of being on stream which was a very neat experience especially for someone this young inspiring to be a pro in this game he also uh, also described his follow-up situation where the judge once again asked him his fellow player alex she, men, see, for his, their pronouns, Tran admitted that he laughed at the end of the answer once again because of his nerves. Uh, the little laugh at the end was because I was trying not to be awkward and because I was starting stating the exact same th exact thing Alex just stated, and it was kind of silly in my scenario, Tran wrote. The judge apparently responded, okay, just wanted to check to be safe. I go by them, they, they, them, so don't be a jerk about it. There's no reason for this. The, uh, are you going to actually have a conversation between the kid and the judge outside of the rules calls that are going to happen in this situation? I, 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 I can't even, after this story, I literally went to the grocery store. I, 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 I went from place to place thinking, I even thought about how our normal conversations are at work and how you approach random strangers and not in one single case do you drive up to a drive through and they go, howdy, what are your pronouns? Like, this isn't normal conversation. This isn't normal conversation anywhere in a normal society. This is the problem that we are seeing today because now this is being enforced this is at a Pokemon tournament, which in general will be young adults, preteens, and adults that want to push something else. So this is the exact type of scenario and place that is going to thrive this type of thing through and through. Like I said, I don't have any problems with people that want to have pronouns or or wish to have them hell if you have them in your bio on twitter have at her it's not for me it's not something i subscribe to it's nothing i really care about uh, when it comes down to it if i'm playing a game i just want to have fun keep gaming fun is a motto that's around here that's been adopted by several people and has been i have also adopted it from others this is Plain and simple what it is. We want to play games. Everyone wants to have fun. And it's not fun when you have to awkwardly answer these types of questions and then have them forced and thrust upon you while you're going up on stage already nervous to be in front of a camera at such a young age. My, my major question here is where are the parents? 
I know he's 17 years old. He can travel on his own at this point. But I am surprised the parents have not come out. Uh, I'm I, I I know there are were lawyers that were reacting to this afterwards, and they were even telling the kid to DM them because they they will help file a lawsuit against the venue at this point. I don't know how that totally plays out and then then there's talk about how judges are compensated because in pokemon and in magic the gathering and i believe also in Yu-Gi-Oh, they all get promo cards or product to be able to do these types of events now at the same time it's a underhanded way for these companies to pay these judges even though they are volunteers uh is to offer them product and say, hey, here's a special sought after promo that we made just for you guys. And with Magic the Gathering, there's the Judge Academy, which you pay to be a part of, and then you are a certified judge, and you get these promos, and you get a lot of these promos over the year, and then you can turn around and sell them for hundreds of dollars on top of that. And then you just have to do a couple things. In itself, it's a roundabout way of these companies being able to pay these judges and to actually compensate them without actually paying them a wage for these events that go from 8 to 12 hours every day over a weekend. After the encounter, Tran was confronted by the hedge judge prior to a game who asked him exactly what was said to the previous judge. Tran explained his answer while admitting that his nerves caused him to laugh, leading the head judge to escort him off the game stage. He described this is where it really escalated. The head judge tells me that it was that he was sorry and that it was sucked, but it'd been disqualified due to Pokemon's policy. So now they're stating a policy that it's the head judge's decision to enforce at that point. Now, if this is a full-on policy of Pokemon and Nintendo and everyone else that's surrounding this card game, the lawsuit can be directed towards them at this point if there's one that happens. I really strongly suggest this, this kid actually file a, law, a lawsuit at this point because he has been abused and he has been wrong, and his rights have been violated. Uh, he was not, he, he was also underage, and being escorted off the premises and humiliated and traumatized over this is enough to sit there and, 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 and claim a lot of things in front of a judge, and a judge will not see this friendly because he is a minor. I just couldn't understand what was happening. Uh, was the judge not listening to me? Anything I said? He was trying to look, uh, trying to look at my side of the story at all. It, it really seemed that he was railroaded and thrown out there. Now, before the judge did escort him off, they came over the headsets. They're wearing headsets at this event, and they told him uh, to not take his headset off because he wasn't allowed to hear what they were saying to the other player. There, and there, is an, there is no count of what possibly was said to the other player. It would be very nice for Alex if he came out and actually said what was said in that conversation. Uh, because I've seen this in Magic the Gathering. And certain pros will angle shoot to get the win. Now, this is a regional tournament. I don't know if it's worth that. I don't know if that type of rhetoric is really there. I am seeing a lot of stories right now about people cheating at Pokemon. It's similar to what we've seen in Magic the Gathering. And I'm going to be talking on a live stream this Saturday about these types of things. So do come back, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell for this channel because I will be hosting a talk about this here we know what uh, what came from this this kid was escorted they ripped the uh they they snipped the wristband off him and he was sent home packing out the money that he spent there out the time and effort that he put into his deck and out everything else because he was nervously laughing over being asked for pronouns this isn't something that is uninclusive or inclusive. This is someone that was overstepping their boundaries. This is a judge that made the wrong decision. And Charlottesville should be stepping up and supporting this kid. And I hope they do very soon. This is making the rounds online. We're going to see a lot more of this topic very soon. Thanks for watching. I'm your proud Canadian Phoenix Cinder Shadow. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you again.
soon enough.